Good afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Justin Early. And I'm Jamie Garrick. An inmate at the Gregg County Jail has died. Gregg County Judge Bill Stout tells CBS 19 it happened this morning. The woman apparently suffered a heart attack and was transported to a local hospital where she later died. Details tonight at 5 and 6. For many East Texas school districts, the start of school is just around the corner. That means school zones drivers have been sailing through all summer will now be occupied by children. What police want you to know about slowing down and paying attention to keep kids safe tonight. Walmart filed a building permit for a $2.5 million renovation to the former Albertsons building at Troop Highway and Loop 323 in Tyler. A Walmart neighborhood market is coming to the location. We could see it open early next year. Athens ISD has approved the purchase of 953 new netbooks for students. Netbooks are like laptop computers that are used to assist students in the classroom. In a district meeting Thursday, the district said it will only be offering those to incoming freshmen. In the future, they could be offered to other grades too. Habitat for Humanity of Smith County is on a mission to build its 100th home in 100 hours with 100 sponsors. An empty lot in North Tyler will be the site of the new home. Habitat for Humanity is asking $700 each from any family, business, or group of friends wanting to sponsor the build. Join us for all that, plus weather and sports tonight on KYTX, CBS 19 News at 5 and 6. And remember, remember you can go to CBS19.tv anytime for the latest. We'll see you tonight.